Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we're doing a quiz about the parts of speech. So, this is a quiz about the eight parts of speech. So this is what I will be testing you on. You will need to identify verbs, nouns, adjectives, pronouns, prepositions, interjections, adverbs, and conjunctions. Okay, so these are the types of words in the English language. And the quiz is asking you to identify them. So, there are 16 questions in the quiz. You must identify the part of speech of the word in red. Now, don't worry. I'm going to give you an example in a few seconds, okay? For each question, there are four choices, A, B, C, or D. And only one choice is correct. That's important. Only one choice is correct. And I will give you the correct answers at the end of the quiz. Okay, at the end of the whole quiz. So not after each question, but right at the end. Okay, so make sure you go right to the end of the quiz of the video. Okay, so let me give you an example. So this is what the question, each question will look like. There is a sentence, and in the sentence, one word is in red. So I want you to identify this word. What type of word is it? So walks, is it a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb? So I'm going to give you two seconds. So the answer is, well, this is quite easy. It's a verb, okay? It's a verb because this is an action. A very simple action. Okay, so that's the quiz. That's how I want you to answer the questions. And I will give you 10 seconds for each question. And if you need longer than 10 seconds, I suggest you pause the video. But I think 10 seconds is enough. Okay, so let's start with question one. So question one, the sentence is, Sarah broke my phone. And the word I want you to identify is phone. Okay, so in this sentence, what type of word is phone? Is it A, a pronoun, B, an adjective, C, a noun, or D, an adverb? And I'll give you 10 seconds. Okay. Question two. During our stay in London, we visited two museums. So the word in red is visited. So in this sentence, what type of word is visited? Is it A, a verb, B, an adverb, C, a pronoun, or D, an interjection? Okay, question three. Mark gave her a necklace for her birthday. So the word I want you to identify is her, this one, the first one. So in this sentence, what type of word is her? Is it A, a conjunction, B, an adjective, C, a pronoun, or D, a verb? Question four. 
Who is that old man over there? Who is that old man over there? So the word in red is old. So in this sentence, what type of word is old? Is it A, an adverb, B, an adjective, C, a noun, or D, a pronoun? Okay, we're now moving on. There'll be a new page now. Question five. Mark rarely eats breakfast. Mark rarely eats breakfast. So the word in red is rarely. So in this sentence, what type of word is rarely? Is it A, a preposition, B, a verb, C, an adjective, or D, an adverb? Question six. The phone rang while I was brushing my teeth. The phone rang while I was brushing my teeth. The word in red is while. So in this sentence, what type of word is while? Is it A, an interjection, B, a conjunction, C, a preposition, or D, an adverb? Okay, question seven. The cat is in the kitchen. The cat is in the kitchen. The word in red is cat. So in this sentence, what type of word is cat? Is it a noun? Is it A, a noun? B, a verb? C, a preposition? Or D, an adjective? Question eight. David left his phone on the table. David left his phone on the table. The word in red is on. So in this sentence, what type of word is on? Is it a pronoun? Is it A, a pronoun? B, an adjective? C, a conjunction? Or D, a preposition? Okay, moving on, we're now going to a new page. Question nine. When are we going to eat? I'm hungry. When are we going to eat? I'm hungry. The word in red is hungry. So in this sentence, what type of word is hungry? Is it A, a verb, B, a noun, C, an adjective, or D, an adverb. Okay, question 10. Well, I think I'll be home at six o'clock. Well, I think I'll be home at six o'clock. The word in red is well. So in this sentence, what type of word is well? Is it A, an adverb, B, an interjection, C, an adjective, or D, a noun? Okay, question 11. I don't want to work today. I'm tired. I don't want to work today. I am tired. The word in red is am. 
So in this sentence, what type of word is am? Is it A, a pronoun, B, a preposition, C, a conjunction, or D, a verb? Question 12. I'd like to watch TV, but I don't have time. I'd like to watch TV, but I don't have time. So the word in red is but. So in this sentence, what type of word is but? Is it A, a pronoun, B, a verb, C, conjunction, or D, interjection? Okay, we're now moving to the last page. Question 13. The old lady is walking slowly. The old lady is walking slowly. The word in red is slowly. So in this sentence, what type of word is slowly? Is it A, an adverb, B, an adjective, C, a preposition, D, a conjunction. Question 14. Jane and I talked for three hours. Jane and I talked for three hours. The word in red is four. So in this sentence, what type of word is for? Is it A, a preposition, B, adverb, C, conjunction, or D, noun? Question 15. Oh, that is a surprise. Oh, that is a surprise. The word in red is O. Oh. So in this sentence, what type of word is O? Oh? Is it A, pronoun, B, preposition, C, interjection, or D, a noun? Okay, question 16. This is the last question and then I'll give you the answers. So question 16 is, no, it's not your car, it's theirs. No, it's not your car, it's theirs. So the word in red is theirs. So in this sentence, what type of word is theirs? Is it A, a pronoun? B, an adjective, C, a verb, or D, a noun. Okay, so that's the end of the quiz. So in a couple of seconds, in two seconds, I'm going to give you the answers. Before I give you the answers, let me very quickly tell you about the Crown Academy of English IELTS online course. And it comes with ebooks and practice tests. So if you are going to prepare for the IELTS exam, then I recommend our online course. The link is on the screen now. And it is also in the description of this video. Okay, so that's, um, that's our online course. And I'm now going to give you the answers to this quiz. So here are the first four questions. So the question, question one was, Sarah broke my phone. So phone 
is a noun. Okay, it's a noun. It's an object. It's a thing. Okay, so that's quite easy. Question two. During our stay in London, we visited two museums. So what type of word is visited? Well, the answer is it's a verb. It's a verb. It's an action. Okay, so visited is a verb. Question three. Mark gave her a necklace for her birthday. So what type of word is her? And the answer is C. It's a pronoun. Okay, it's a pronoun because it is representing um, a person. Uh, yes, a person and a person is a noun. So a pronoun replaces a noun. Okay. Notice we have another word her here. But this is different. It's the same word. But here it is in fact an adjective. It's a possessive adjective. Her birthday. So that is why this quiz is so important. Um, it's to understand that um, words um, in different contexts can have different uses. Okay, so here it's a pronoun and here it's in fact an adjective, possessive adjective. Okay, question four. Who is that old man over there? Who is that old man over there? So what type of word is old? Well, the answer is B, an adjective. So an adjective modifies a noun. So the noun is man and old modifies man. It tells us more information about the man. Okay. Question five. Mark rarely eats breakfast. So what type of word is rarely? The answer is D. It's an adverb, an adverb. So here, um, an adverb, it modifies a verb, gives us more information about the verb, about the action. So rarely, it means not often. Okay, so this is in fact an adverb of frequency. Question six, the phone rang while I was brushing my teeth. So what type of word is while? It's a conjunction, a conjunction. A conjunction joins two parts of a sentence. So we have a clause here, the phone rang, and we have another one here, I was brushing my teeth. So the conjunction, it joins this with this, okay? While. Number seven, the cat is in the kitchen. So what type of word is cat? Well, it's, an, it's the answer is A, it's a noun. Um, it's a thing, it's a, an animal. So animals are nouns. Question eight, David left his phone on the table. So what type of word is on? The answer is D. It's a preposition. It's a preposition. Okay, so a preposition comes before a noun phrase. So the noun, the noun phrase is the table. And this is in fact an example of a preposition of place. It tells us where the phone is. Okay, it tells us the location of something on the table. Question nine, when are we going to eat? I'm hungry. So what type of word is hungry? The answer is C, it's an adjective, okay? So it's an adjective, it's giving, it's modifying, um, it's modifying a noun 
and the noun here is 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 me okay so the person so it's it's modifying me it's giving us more information about me about my state so my state is that i want to eat i'm hungry question 10 well i think i'll be home at six o'clock so what type of word is well in this sentence well the answer is b an interjection an interjection an interjection is another word for an exclamation an exclamation okay so well in another context it could be an adverb an example of that would be um, mark sings well or mark dances well that would be an adverb but here it's an interjection it's an exclamation question 11 i don't want to work today i am tired so what type of word is am well it's a verb it's a verb this is in fact the verb be the verb to be and it's the first person singular the verb be is irregular so it's i am Question 12. I'd like to watch TV, but I don't have time. So what type of word is but? The answer is C, a conjunction. So do you remember earlier I said a conjunction, it joins two parts of a sentence. Well, we have the first part, I'd like to watch TV. And the second part, I don't have time. So, but, it joins them together, okay? Um, I don't, uh, um, I, I, this is the reason and this is the action that I would like to do. So, yes, it, it joins them together. The last four questions. The old lady, question 13, the old lady is walking slowly. So what type of word is slowly? It's an adverb. It's an adverb. So an adverb modifies a verb. So the verb is walking and the adverb gives us more information about the action. So in this case, it's telling us the speed of the action slowly. Question 14. Jane and I talked for three hours. So what type of word is for? F-O-R. The answer is, it's a preposition. A preposition. The answer is a preposition. It's giving us information about the duration. So this is an example of a preposition of time. Preposition of time. Question 15. Oh, that is a surprise. So what type of word is O? Oh? It's an interjection. Again, it is another example of an exclamation. Question 16. The last question. No, it's not your car. It's theirs. So what type of word is theirs? The answer is, it's a pronoun, a pronoun. So remember, a pronoun replaces or takes the place of a noun. So this is actually taking the place of car. And we're saying, um, who owns the car? So this is a, pos this is a possessive pronoun. We are describing who owns the car. And it is the third person plural. So it's another way of saying they own the car. They. Okay. So it's the third person plural. Possessive.
pronoun. Okay? So that's the end. 16 questions. How many correct answers did you get? Tell me in the comments. And don't worry, if you got some wrong answers, then watch my lesson explaining all the parts of speech with detailed examples and a very detailed explanation. Okay, so the link to this video is on the screen now. And it's also in the description of this video. Okay, so that's the end. Again, a reminder, um, if you would like to follow our online course, the IELTS online course, and get the ebooks and all the practice tests, then click here on the screen. And here are some other videos which I think you'll be interested in.